Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is custom time dilation. Let's go ahead and run through our quick little example here. Basically, custom time dilation is the ability to give an actor its own custom time dilation. And time dilation is the ability to give slow or fast motion to slow down basically the tick that the item uses. So at the bottom of our screen, I have our current time dilation. So if we move this down to say 0 0.2, well, 0 0.2, everything, this is our global one, is going to be affected and slowed down. And you'll see our timeline on the right is slower, and our physics item is slower, and my character itself moves slower. Now this item on the right is a custom bouncy ball object. It just uses a timeline to move it up and down. On the top right, I have my, let me shut off my stat. I have my value for my custom time dilation, or the dilation that this actor itself is using. And if I was to raise this, it's basically going to be a multiplicative. So if I raise it to say 5, the world is running at 0.2, and this actor itself is running at 5. So it's going to be a multiplicative of this, so you're going to get roughly 5 times 0.2, or 1. So now this object is going to be running at normal speed, my character is going to be running slower, and this bouncy physics ball is going to be running slower. And let's go ahead and look and see how that works. So if we type in custom time, we're not going to find the custom time dilation node. If we were to uncheck context sensitivity, we will find it. We're basically going to find two nodes, a get custom and a set custom. Now the one we're going to work with is under class actor, but you can set custom time dilation for things such as your particle components. Now the reason we didn't see it is because it requires an actor in order for us to access it. So if we were to take our bouncy ball reference, which is a reference to, oops, where's my map? Whoa, I hate losing stuff. There we go. Which is a reference to this item here, my little bouncy ball. My bouncy ball is just a custom blueprint. All I'm doing is taking a ball and moving it over time using a timeline. So nothing special there. However, using the custom time dilation node, I can talk to my ball and set its custom time dilation and by when I hit my plus button, I'm adding 0.1. And when I hit my minus button, I'm subtracting 0.1. So that's all we're doing with our custom time dilation node. And what it's doing is, again, setting the time dilation just on that object. And that custom time dilation is a multiplier against the world dilation. So if we were to hit play again, and set this to 1, and then set this to 1, everyone has normal dilation, normal speed. If we were to double this to 2, we now notice the ball on the right is moving twice as fast. Because what's happening is our timeline is saying, okay, it's our next tick. How much are we going to move? It looks at the world dilation and the actor dilation, figures out its multiplier, which will be 2 in this case, figures out how much it's supposed to move. Let's say it's supposed to move 1 unit, and then it's going to multiply it and now say, okay, I need to move 2 units. I'm supposed to be moving twice as fast. And of course, if I adjust this up to like 5, now it's moving at 5. So now it's going to move 5 times as much based on its current custom dilation value. And of course, you can adjust it either way. And, keep, and like we showed earlier, it is a multiplication. So of course, if we drop this down to something like 0.2, we're going to get a 1. And if we move this down to 0.1, now it's actually going to move slower, half speed, while everything else moves super slow. And the nice thing is this does work on anything that's an actor. So if I was to take and plug my player in instead of my bouncy ball. Let's go ahead and do this. Now it's the same thing except I'm using my player here. Um, except the text is not being set properly. Oh, no, that's fine. Okay. So it's the same code. The only difference is I'm affecting my player now instead of the ball. So if I'm moving my player, here's normal speed. This is one for global dilation, one for actor dilation. If I move my global dilation down to point 0.3, my player moves slowly. But if I move my actor dilation up to something like 3, now my player's moving full speed. 
and all of my actors are moving at partial speed. So it looks like basically everything's moving in slow motion. Because we're multiplying, we're saying, hey, everything move at 0.3, except the actor move at three times normal speed, and they cancel each other out. And of course, we could even make my player move even faster. Something like this. And now he's running at super speed while everything else is running in slow motion. So that is our actor custom time dilation. It is on a actor blueprint node only. And the nice thing is your player is basically a base of an actor in the end. It allows you to set the custom or internal time dilation for that item. And it's useful if you want to offset a global time dilation or just yet let something singular or group of things move at certain speeds.